All right, so uh, power supplies have a transformer and then they have a rectifier and then they have a smoothing capacitor, right? And so let's check to make sure my circuit is smoothing. So this is gonna be looking at the positive output. It's gonna generate a negative and a po positive, right? Uh, am I saying, am I saying anything stupid? So it has a plus or minus 18 volt AC that goes into a bridge rectifier and it pulls off the plus side and it's gonna get up to 21 volts and it's gonna pull off the negative side and it's gonna go down to minus 21 volts, right? So we're looking at the plus 21 side right now. And so let me turn that on and we look over there and let me turn it off. You can see that capacitor went up to 21. This is 10 volts per scale, so it went up there. All right, let's look at the negative 21 volt rail. Uh, let's see, so now we'll take a look at the minus side. And whoops, there we go. That's why my capacitor must be missing a ground or something. So that should be easy to fix. So we'll go take a look at that. Okay, I fixed that issue. There was just a, one of those burnt traces and the ground wasn't getting to the bypassing capacitor or the, or the, the bulk, bulk capacitor, the smoothing capacitor. And uh, so now we have a nice, uh, we have a nice 12 volts now. And let's check the, uh, let's check the input. Yeah, minus 24. And everything is good to go. Five volts reading 4.19, that's a little low. I think I'm going through it. All right, I had a dodgy trace up in here that I put a, a wire on. Um, so these traces, they get dark, they, they get high resistive and they don't look like it, but they do. So I put a jumper on there and now I have a very nice five volts output. So now I'm good to go. I've got five volts. Let's see here, I'll let you see it. Uh, we got five volts, we got minus 12, then we got plus 12. We are good to go, good to go. So next step is to probably try to get that high voltage section working. All right, uh, I have the board in here and we're gonna be probing some voltages. Uh, so let's take a look at what we get. I'll turn it on. This should be 150 volts. 152. This should be 55 volts. 56. 24 volts. Should be 21. 12 volts. 5 volts. So it looks, looks like it's doing a good job. So I think all of our power supplies are now up and running. And that's a good thing. So let's turn this off. Um, so I think the power supply section all works now. And um, I think the next thing to do is to um, work on this bottom part of the board here before I shove it back in. The top half of the board I believe now works. And um, I don't quite remember what the bottom part does. I'll need to print out a schematic for that. And uh, we'll look around. It looks like there's some high voltage caps here. There is a missing uh, um, transistor, Q1155 is missing. Uh, this, this resistor here was missing too. I've already replaced that. But this volt, uh, it's a high voltage. Uh, this is a match pair. So I think it's a voltage multiplier. Um, it's just a push pull thing that I think multiplies up voltages to, to get some signal onto the, the horizontal sweep or something like that. I have a, a replacement transistor on order, so we'll have to wait for that. Um, and I think we should be in pretty good shape. Oh, and troubleshooting uh, part of it just off camera, I noticed that uh, uh, ground over here and ground over here were not, were not connected. Some trace got missed, missed someplace. Once you bolted it into the system, it would have completed it, but I don't like that. So I put a wire across to, to uh, complete the, uh, 
complete the grounds everywhere. And uh, yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're looking good.